chicas welcome back to my channel today first off the bat i have to say thank you i have received overwhelming amounts of comments and it's just been amazing with my launch of my new of my own very own lipstick and lip gloss i'm just overwhelmed i'm excited i'm thank you guys enough for the support i've been getting i love you all bunches and i gotta say i'm excited for my own lipstick and my own lip gloss line and if you guys haven't checked that video i'm gonna link it down below and of course information where you can buy my new lipsticks and my new lip gloss and i have products coming throughout the whole year so check out back now well, today's video we're going to be talking about this month's hits this month's loving what i've been loving for this month products that i have been using products that i've been reaching out for either on my skincare routine or either on my um makeup i've actually incorporated um products that i have been loving not just this month i think i've used them for pretty quite uh some time but i've never managed to talk about it i don't know why i don't incorporate incorporate skincare routine onto my video but um i'm gonna go ahead and talk to you guys about it first off excuse my appearance and my messy intent of a messy bun um my hair is just looking horrendous i need to wash it i need to dye it and i really needed to get this video up for you guys i really needed to record this video for you so if you guys want to see um the line of products that i have that i've been loving that i highly recommend and i really really like and um they've been on my everyday pretty much routine all you have to do is grab a snack and join me for this month's faves okay. right, let's start with hair one thing that i kind of recently got i think i got it like about two weeks ago but i've been loving it honestly so when i saw this one i just like whoop, grabbed it paid for it came home sprayed on and i was happy i love it love the smell of it i think garnier fructis has amazing smells to their hairline products and i love the fact that it does give me it's not like whoa volume but you can definitely see the flatness of the oil you know how because uh you get flat hair because of the oil that you have so i see how instantly it kind of looks a lot more refreshed the hair so i am absolutely loving the fruit the gardener fruitics volume extend then following down um this is a rediscover product i've actually had it for quite a few time and it's the victoria's secret bombshell and bloom body lotion i had the perfume i do have the body spray um spray I do have the body spray i have it uh somewhere i couldn't find it but both have been like i've been reaching out for them like every single day this past month because we're back into spring summary so that's what it really smells like it smells like um it smells like like i don't know i if you guys have never smelled these the blossom bombshell and bloom like seriously girls you have to it's just a smells so good oh i wish you guys could smell this it smells so 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 good it smells like flower and it smells just like i think i put it on and it reminds me of um last year's summer because that's basically when i got it so i absolutely love yeah. love I actually went into this box and said i forgot i had this so this is a company that i don't see a lot of hype on youtube i really don't see a lot of hype but it's a company that's been out for a very very long time it's called amway um amway has been a around for a very 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 long time it's actually on top of the month among amongst the top um websites for shopping and anything beauty household anything i was like in shock to find out that amway has it's like it's i think i've been living in a rock but that amway has actually it's, it's on the top of the leaderboard um amongst all this maybelline you uh l'oreal and all these other products that are there that um other companies out there that you purchase online please don't excuse my paleness i have not yet to receive my <sighs> self-tanning lotion so i am actually talking about the amway line called artistry artistry is their makeup line skincare line and i've had few products to try about from their line and i'm actually quite impressed not only have i tried um things from for the face for skin and makeup but also things for the house i was like i'm impressed like honestly i was impressed and there's other companies out there that you they are good but since they don't get hyped up in youtube nobody buys them but i gave it a try and it's actually i've made it part of my 
everyday skincare routine. I was like, you know what? I finally found a skincare routine. So I'm actually using the Artistry Essentials. Here I have the Hydrating Cleanser. It's a cleanser that actually hydrates my skin, so I really love it. I have very dry, sensitive skin, so I'm excited that I have a cleanser that hydrates and love. I love how it's so sensitive to my skin. It actually doesn't give me any breakouts or anything like that. Then the other thing I, I try and I use, um, I try and I use um, every single night. It's the pore cleansing mask. I absolutely love this thing. Just to know that. I'm getting all that chunk and gunk out of my pores. I'm just like, oh, I love it. I really, really enjoy this mask right here. And honestly, love the packaging. It looks so, so freaking cute. And it looks so freaking cute. It looks so freaking cute on my, on my, on my bathroom counter. I just love it. And the last, caught it right in the air. Yeah. The last thing is their soothing cream. Not only does it hydrate my skin, it actually just soothes it. It just feels so refreshing and calm and I just feel like, oh my god, I absolutely love so, it. So moving down to uh, the face and the makeup, I got quite a few products that I want to share with you guys. So first off, we're going to be talking about concealer. I recently picked up this concealer, this color correcting concealer palette. I picked it up at Ulta and I have to say, oh Jesus. I have been loving this baby right here. You can see it has all the color correcting concealers to help you with all the blemishes, retinas, um, the dark under eyes, everything all in one palette. I have been loving it. I love, love, love it. I just thought it could be a little more thick on the thick side where you can actually get more a little bit more coverage. But other than that, I've seen a huge difference. Under, on my under eyes and definitely on the other areas of discoloration that I have on my face. So I've been loving that. Um, since we're on the line of concealer, I actually have three concealers that I have to talk about. And you guys know I'm a high, I'm a freak on concealers. When it comes to concealers, I don't care if I have five. I see another one and I hear about it on YouTube. Like, like my under eyes are really dark. I look like a raccoon and I use this concealer and it looks amazing. I'd be like, pause, car drive, pick up, a buy, and get it because I am a freaking concealer. So these three have been actually, these three have been actually what I've been using, loving nonstop. You guys know I'm my holy girl. It's, it's Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. So I was like, hmm, these concealers have a lot. The standard has been set a high. So first one I picked up and I've been loving, and of course it's an all-time favorite. Everyone raves about it. Everyone loves it. This is the Instant Age Rewind eraser dark circle it erases dark circles and this is from Maybelline and I have to tell you I love whoop. I love it and mostly what I use it for is the highlight because it is so it's such a very manageable and blendable consistency that I just find it perfectly for highlighting I apply it right here in the middle of my forehead down my nose and then of course I just streak it out where I need to highlight so what do I use it for highlight the other two I've been loving and this one is also from artistry I'm telling you like I was impressed with this line this is their um, concealer and I love it it reminds me of um, if I'm not mistaken Estee Lauder has a, lip, uh, a concealer just like this comes in like a, a sort of a shape color I'm sorry sort of, of a lipstick shape and I love it let me tell you it's extremely thick the and coverage on this right here it's amazing no lie like oh god it is so creamy I don't think you guys can see it in the light it is so creamy and I am in love with this concealer it hides my under eyes so 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 good even though it's as the thick is the formula is a little thick. I first tap it with my fingers and then I apply the H less rewind one on top and then I blend it with my beauty blender so it actually blends out. Gives me such an amazing coverage which I absolutely love. And this is the Artistry Concealer 
in the color light. I will, list the, I will list the website down below where you can get if you're interested in the artistry line from Mway, which I just think it's amazing. I've actually been trying their mascara and I've actually been trying other products from them and I've been loving it. But these ones are the ones that I'm constantly using so that's why I wanted to so share The last concealer is, it was hyped up here very much on YouTube and I finally got my hands on it and it's the Hard Candy Glamovlodge Heavy Duty Concealer. And I have to say I've been loving it. Um, coverage wise it's very very good it blends very easily and the only downside to it is that I've seen that it creases up on me during the day none of the concealers I've tried for like years and I've used kind of tends to crease on me and this one kind of started creasing on me and I was like I don't like that I, I'm, I'm not used to during the day going back and retouching my makeup because I have an oily t-zone or because my concealer is starting to like crease I've never had that problem and with this thing I've been actually loving and it's this um pencil eyeliner and you guys know that I rave about the NYC um, liquid gel eyeliner and I, I love it and I love liquid liner but when I got my hands on this baby this is the Rimmel Ex Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer and I just saw it, it was just perfect it's a very thick, not very thick, I think it's a medium point um, eyeliner and it is so easy to apply. It packs on so much color. Love the fact that it has a smudgy tip on the other side so you can smudge it and make it look like a smoky eye. Reason also why I picked it up was because it's waterproof and now for summer and you're out in the pool, you want to, if you want to have liner, you can try and get a waterproof my uh, waterproof eyeliner. I have not yet tried it in the water. I have not yet been in the pool with the liner, so I don't think I will tell you that it works or it doesn't work. But other than that, the liner is so 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 freaking amazing. The next thing is my foundation. I think I shared it with you guys on my last video. This is the foundation I've been reaching for lately. You guys know my holy girl right now is Nars All Day Luminous Foundation, lightweight luminous. Something all lightweight, something the NARS, the new NARS. Um, but I see that I'm kind of running low on it, and it was a very expensive foundation, so I'm kind of tending to leave that one for important occasions. So I've been reaching for the for the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I love it, love, love, love it, especially paired off with the setting spray. Never in my life tried a setting spray, and I tried this one. It actually came in my Target beauty box, and I fell automatically in love with it, ladies. These two things right here, like bulletproof, lockproof, won't smear, stay all day in your face type of duo. Like, if you guys want to see me do like a um, sort of like a review on it, demo, let me know in the comments below, and I will show you how it looks without the setting spray and how it actually holds with the setting spray so, so the other two things i've been loving i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this video up are two palettes this one is the nyx highlight and contour pro palette i did a review on this baby i'm gonna link it down below if you haven't seen it i have been loving this palette love pigmentation love the way it blends i just love everything about the palette i just think it's amazing i'm not gonna get into much details about it if you want to know more full extent on what it is how it applies and swatches on this baby click on the link below for the review on this palette and then the last palette is a another um find another what is it re I found you again. I kind of I said it at the beginning of the video. Whatever. And it's this. This is the Tarte Amazonian Clay um, blush palette. It was a holiday edition, and it comes. With, it came with five limited edition um, bl uh, blushes, and I have been obsessing over them because it kind of does last for me for a very very long time. And the blushes don't tend to crease up on me, so I absolutely love it. And the colors are just so suitable and so nice, and love the way it blends. This is the only. Uh, blush palette that I have from I think this is all I really wanted to share with you guys this have been amazing products that have worked for me that I've been loving that they've been incorporating into my everyday makeup routine and it has actually been working for me so let me know in the comments below if you want to get a skincare 
routine video. I will definitely get that out there for you guys. And thank you so much for sticking till the end. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you like it. Don't forget to comment below and of always a subscribe if you haven't. Thank you so much for sticking till the end. Besotes, be blessed, precious pearls. I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.